Hiya friends, now we're going to read a story called Peter's Pebbles by Sherry Zamazin. Peter's Pebbles. Peter loved collecting pebbles. Large ones, small ones, thin ones, fat ones, round ones, flat ones. He painted his pebbles to look like all sorts of different animals. It's a giraffe, an elephant, a panda, a zebra, a monkey, a cheetah, a parrot, a kangaroo, and even a crocodile. One day, as Peter was putting his newly painted fish pebble on the shelf, he slipped and the pebble sploshed into his fish bowl. Oh dear, I wonder what happened. Suddenly, there was a flash of light and a bubble and a fizz. Peter jumped back and saw a new colourful fish swimming around the fishbowl. Peter's pebble had come to life. Wow, if my fish pebble came to life in water, maybe my parrot pebble will come to life in the air, Peter thought excitedly. Peter opened his window and threw his parrot pebble out into the air. Squawk! With a swish and a swoop, Peter's pebble came to life. Peter then picked up his monkey pebble. Hmm, monkeys like bananas, he thought. So he put the pebble into the fruit bowl. In an instant, the fruit exploded everywhere. <laughs> A monkey was swinging in the kitchen. Next, Peter took his crocodile pebble into the bathroom. Uh-oh. He filled the bath of water and dropped in the pebble. There was a bubble and a splash and Peter couldn't believe his eyes when a huge crocodile appeared in the bath. Oh my goodness! Snap, snap, snap! Would you like a crocodile in your bath? No. He do. Back in his bedroom, Peter showed the animals his map. He pointed out where in the world they normally lived. Just then, Peter's mum called, Peter, your dinner is ready. Shh, wait here, Peter said to the animals. <clears throat> While Peter was downstairs, the monkey picked up the rest of Peter's painted pebbles and placed them on the map where Peter had said that they lived. Look, the kangaroos in Australia. Oh, look, and the giraffes going into Africa. Suddenly, Peter could hear an almighty commotion coming from upstairs. Luckily, Mum and Dad were too busy talking to notice. Peter quickly finished his food and raced back to his bedroom. <clears throat> Peter gasped when he saw that all of his painted pebbles had come to life. Oh, look at all of his animals. I'll get in trouble if you stay here. I need a place for you all to live. Let's see, there's a panda, a zebra, an elephant, a crocodile, a leopard, a kangaroo, a giraffe, a monkey, and a parrot. Can you see all the animals? Let's see what happens next. Then Peter ooh, had an idea. He ran to his cupboard and pulled out a huge pebble. He had been saving it but he hadn't known what to paint until now. Peter waited until everyone was asleep. Hey, sweetheart, let's finish the story. He waited till everyone was asleep and he crept downstairs and quietly to the beach. Peter climbed into his boat and together he and the animals swam, rode and flew out into the ocean. When they had traveled far enough, Peter lifted the big pebble into the air and threw it with all his might. Immediately there was a deep rumbling sound and the boat began to rock as the waves rose higher and higher. Suddenly, out of the waves a huge island appeared. There were jungles full of plants and palm trees, clear blue streams, waterfalls, mountains and of course a yellow sandy beach just as Peter had painted on his large pebble. As the sun came up and all the happy animals waved goodbye to Peter as he rode back home, 
I'll visit you soon, he called. As Peter reached the shore, he spotted a very strange shaped pebble. Hmm, I wonder what I could paint next, he thought. Our friends, what shape does this animal look like? That pebble is in the shape of, could it be a dinosaur? Imagine if Peter painted this one and it came to life. Oh, my goodness. All right, friends, you have fun painting your pebbles. Bye.